Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System. Welcome back to our YouTube channel for our latest video. And I'm here in my home studio. It's a glorious day outside, and it's going to be a wonderful weekend of football action coming at you in England in the English Premier League. And that's what we're going to be talking about today in our video here on YouTube. So great to have you back here. Thanks for stopping by. If you've never been here before, if you've never watched a, a Z Code video here on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Stay up to date on all the things that we do here on our YouTube channel. And of course, go over to the blog. You can see it right there on your screen, zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and get up to date on all of the things that we post there. And of course, you can see a lot of the videos that we make and we post. Um, for these articles here on the YouTube channel. But of course, you can see there, there's Major League Baseball picks for April the 25th. And if we scroll down, you can see some NBA picks that were there for the 25th. And of course, my preview there for the Premier League match day 33 picks for the 24th and 25th of April, which is coming up on Saturday and Sunday. And as I come to you today, it is Friday and uh, it is a glorious Friday. And we will be giving you these picks for games tomorrow and on Sunday in the Premier League this weekend. So as I scroll back up there, of course, you can see all those um, those great picks. And uh, of course, you can go over to Z Code System to the VIP, and you can get all the tools that we use at Z Code System to showcase these picks uh, for you here on our YouTube channel. And I'm going to be showing you specifically the Soccer Buddy tool, which is one of the tools that I use a lot. And I also showcase it here on our YouTube channel for the various games that we talk about. Um, and specifically, we'll be talking about the Premier League this weekend, the most watched Premier, uh, the most watched league in soccer around the world. Now, let's take a look at these picks that I have outlined for you. Of course, you can always go over to the blog, just read up there if you would rather do that or if you want to get some more information um, from the articles that I post there. But as you can see, we've got the Soccer Buddy tool right in front of you. And I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to change our date to April the 24th, which is tomorrow. It's uh, Saturday. And we're going to bring that up and we're going to let that do its business to collate all of these games and all of these picks that we have coming up tomorrow. And then obviously I'm going to change my league. I'm going to change over to the Premier League. And I'm just going to do that very quickly. There we go. And we're going to scroll down and you can see all of these amazing soccer leagues that we have here. And I've got the English Premier League that I'm bringing up. And we've got three games tomorrow in the Premier League. Um, keep in mind that there is the Carabao Cup final coming up this weekend between Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur. We're not going to talk about that in this video, but that will be coming up on Sunday. So there are going to be four teams not in action this weekend. So we have our three games here on Saturday. And I'm just going to hit the hot trends just to see if we have a hot trend, which we do. And uh, I'm just going to decrease my window there just a little bit. Actually, it's all right. Um, so we've got our three games. I'm going to talk you through these three games. Now, I've only written about two of these games um on our blog uh, but this is the great thing about the video i give you these extra games and you can see them right there in front of you these picks from the soccer buddy tool and we've got our hot our hot tip there i'll go ahead and, and look at that and it says we are five to six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with chelsea in the last six games now i don't mean to toot my own horn but last weekend was the fa cup semi-final games we had Chelsea and Manchester City, and we had Leicester City and Southampton in the semifinals. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to toot my own horn and say that I picked those correctly. If you were to watch this video, you watched our video from last week, that is, you would have uh, been there for those picks. You would have seen those picks that I gave you in which I correctly picked those games. I picked Chelsea to beat Manchester City, and I also picked Leicester City to beat Southampton. And if you would have backed those gate, uh, backed those teams, then you would have won uh, some nice profits uh, going forward or, or profits in those semifinals. And of course, the FA Cup final will be coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, but again, we go back to the Premier League this weekend. And let's go ahead and start with that Liverpool versus Newcastle United game. That's the early game tomorrow um, in the UK. It's going to be kicking off around lunchtime uh, between these two teams. And it's going to be played at Anfield home of Liverpool. Um, Newcastle United are actually in some good form right now. They're unbeaten in three games, and they are saving their season. They looked like they were headed down uh, for relegation, but uh, they've actually 
uh, rebound, uh, rebounded, rebounded recently um, in the league and are playing much better football. Um, they Fortunately, Steve Bruce, their manager, has gotten back two of his best players from injury, Callum Wilson and Alan St. Maximin. And Maximin, St. Maximin, has been outstanding over the last three games, helping power Newcastle United to those those results. Um I really like St. Maximin. I think he's a fantastic player, and I think he would fit in well with with some of the uh, the I don't want to say bigger teams, but some of the teams who are at the uh, in the upper half of the table. Even in Liverpool, uh, I think he would be uh, an exciting player for. Now, Liverpool have been hot and cold. Um, the the only thing that they really are fighting for this season is to finish in the top four, which they are just outside of the top four. They drew last Monday night against Leeds United, one one, uh, took a lead. Um, uh, took the lead through Sadio Mane, a goal f- through through him. He, he's been in a massive drought uh, for much of the season, uh, but they got a goal through Mane. Uh, but unfortunately, with three minutes left on the clock, gave up a header to Diego Llorente, and Leeds United got, uh, got a result. So Liverpool just blowing hot and cold. And, uh, you know, part of me being a Liverpool supporter, I, I'm afraid that they're going to continue that hot and cold against Newcastle United this weekend. Um, because Newcastle United, like I said, are, are playing much better than they, they were uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago, two months ago. Um, but Liverpool have uh, ha- have done well uh, in recent times. Now, these two teams did play out a nil-nil draw earlier this season at St. James's Park. So don't be surprised to see Newcastle United get something out of this game. But they haven't won at Anfield in quite some time. And my head says Liverpool are going to pull out a victory. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this game ends 1-0. Um, Liverpool are not scoring goals right now. Uh, they're, they're keeping goals out for the most part, um, but they're not, they're not scoring them. So don't be surprised if this game does finish 1-0 uh, rather than that 2-1 uh, score prediction. Uh, and you know what? I do think that the first half could end in that nil-nil scoreline right there. So let's move on to our second game on Saturday. That's Chelsea versus West Ham. This is a massive game, and I've ri- written about this uh, for uh, for Zico's system um, uh, in, in the blog. Back in September, few football fans, few onlookers of the Premier League would have thought come April, Chelsea and West Ham would be playing a match uh, that would have an impact on the Champions League qualification places. Uh, Chelsea are fourth right now. They are in the Champions League places. West Ham right outside of that due to goal difference. Uh, West Ham have been have been a surprise package this season. They've been really good, uh, and and you know I have to say they've been a bit fun to watch. And especially in January, they picked up uh, on loan Jesse Lingard from Manchester United. He's been absolutely outstanding. He scored nine goals in ten games, I believe it is, and uh, grabbed a couple of assists. And he's really powering West Ham um, going forward. And uh, he's he's really helping them possibly achieve a first ever Champions League qualification place, which would be, you know, if you're one of those those football fans that wants to see something different um, every once in a while, every year, um, or you're a West Ham fan, you're definitely wanting to see West Ham qualify for the Champions League at the expense of Chelsea or Liverpool. Uh, but they, they go in this big game right here against Chelsea. Uh, this game is going to be at West Ham's London Stadium in the east side or on the east side of, uh, east side of the capital. Um, uh, and Chelsea go into this game, they're not in the best of form right now. Um, I think they've, they're, they're, they've only won, I think, if I remember correctly, only won one of their last four Premier League games. And they had their minds occupied on a few other things. They, were in the, they, they played in the FA Cup semifinal last weekend, which they won 1-0 against Manchester City. Great game uh, for Chelsea, uh, picking up a win there. Uh, but in midweek, um, uh, I believe it's Wednesday uh, in this coming week, they're going to be playing in the Champions League semifinal against Real Madrid. So their attention, their eyes, their mind could be on that game there uh, against Real Madrid and also against, obviously, the cup final in the FA Cup. So you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see Chelsea slip up a little bit more here in the Premier League because this is going to be a very motivated West Ham team. And, of course, like I said, Chelsea, they could have their attentions elsewhere. Now, we've got a 2-1 scoreline with Manchester, uh, excuse me, with Chelsea coming from a goal down at halftime to pick up a win. Yeah, I could see that happening because, again, like I said, West Ham have been really good going forward, and Jesse Lingard has been fantastic to watch. So um, I wouldn't be surprised to, to really see this game go down to the wire with Chelsea maybe picking up a win at the very end, possibly seeing a draw here. Um, with West Ham really pushing them the whole way, but again, as we say, we've got a hot, um, a hot trend here, five to six 
we are five to six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Chelsea in their last six games. So you might want to get on that and uh, bet on Chelsea and West Ham to score over 1.5 goals in this game. This is going to be a close game and uh, one that's going to be really difficult to uh, to pick a winner, uh, I think, uh, if, if you're betting on this game. Now, last game of the day, we've got Brighton and Southampton. Sorry, let me say that again. Brighton and Sheffield United going at it at Bramwell Lane uh, in Yorkshire. Now, Sheffield United, if you're following the Premier League closely, you'll know that they were relegated uh, with a loss to Wolverhampton Wanderers 1-0 earlier this week. And they will be going back down to the championship. They are rock bottom in the Premier League, and they have been absolutely dreadful. Yeah, not much else to say there. Brighton are near the bottom of the table. They are fighting relegation as well, but they should be okay. By all intents and purposes, I think they're going to be okay. And I think they're going to pick up all three points against Sheffield United in what could be a very dull game. Um, but again, like I say, I think they're going to pick up all three points and distance themselves a bit more from the relegation three and basically save their season uh, going forward. I don't think Sheffield United are going to do much in this game because to be honest, we could see one of two things. Either Sheffield United are going to be um, continue to be dreadful and just you know, they know their fate. They know what's going to happen. Uh, they know they're going to be relegated. So they're just going to go out there and uh, play the 90 minutes, pick up the checks. Um, or we're going to see a Sheffield United who now all of a sudden the pressure is off them and they're going to play really well. We do see that from time to time, year to year. Uh, but I'm more of the thinking that Brighton know what they need to do. They're coming off of back-to-back draws. They drew with Chelsea earlier this week. And I think that they're going to pick up a victory and distance themselves from the Premier League relegation zone. Now, we've got a couple of games coming up on Sunday uh, that we're going to take a real quick look at, and uh, I'll talk you through those here. So we're just going to look at Sunday, and we switch over to that, switch our date, and you can see the the uh, soccer buddy there thinking, and we've got him up right there. We don't have any hot trends uh, for Sunday's games, but you can see that there's three games there. Um, you can see three games there, but I'm only going to talk about the one. I uh, don't want this video to go too long this week. Uh, for you. So we're going to talk about that first game, that Manchester United versus Leeds United game that's going to be played at Ellen Road coming up on Sunday. As you can see there, Manchester United, uh, we've got a score prediction of 2-1 to one coming from behind at halftime to pick up a victory. Uh, go back to earlier this season when Manchester United and Leeds United played at Old Trafford, and you will remember that the Red Devils thrashed Leeds 6-2. Uh, they were absolutely outstanding uh, on the day. Leeds uh, have given up 50 goals this season. They are conceding goals, uh, but they've scored 50 goals. They are a lot of fun to watch. They are very inconsistent, but they are a lot of fun to watch. Uh, four games unbeaten right now. Uh, recently, they've defeated Manchester City, and they defeated, uh, excuse me, they drew with Liverpool uh, last Monday. So this is definitely a team that can take points off of the big boys. Uh, but Manchester United are in really good form right now. They are unbeaten in the last six games. I believe five of those games, five in a row, have been wins. And they're also they're gearing up for next Thursday. They're going to be playing in the Europa League semifinals, first leg against Roma at Old Trafford. So for me, I don't really see Leeds getting anything in this game. Uh, I think Manchester United will be professional and they will um, starve uh, Leeds of the ball. And uh, they're going to pick up a victory. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see this being a 1-0 or 2-0 win for Manchester United. They've got a great defense uh, and they've played really well all season long. Yes, Leeds have scored 50 goals but I think they're going to have a little bit of creative difficulties uh, in this game. Now, 2-1, yes, that's a great scoreline, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Manchester United keep this uh, a clean sheet um, in, in this game. And um, yeah, those are my thoughts on Manchester United and Leeds United. Now, as you can see there, we've got Burnley and Wolves going at it as well on Sunday, as well as Brest, uh, Brest uh, as well as West Brom and Aston Villa going at it, and uh, we see those results. Now, just to, to give you a little info there uh, on the Burnley-Wolves game, this game is a big game for Burnley. They are, uh, I want to say, five points off of, uh, six points, that is, uh, above the relegation zone, so they're desperately trying not to get sucked down into that bottom three uh, with Fulham chasing them. Uh, West Brom, uh, they are nearing relegation, and um, you know, another loss and a loss to their regional rival, Aston Villa, could um, nearly seal their fate back to the championship. All right, those are my thoughts on this weekend and our picks here with the Soccer Buddy and Z Code system. So, guys, thanks for watching on our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything we do here with Z Code system. 
And we will see you next week. Good luck with your Premier League betting and enjoy your weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.